What's up, everybody? I want to do a, a spoiler, kind of like a spoiler review for the Deadpool Wolverine movie. Um, first of all, let me say, all of us, if you're if you're an X Men fan, if you're if you're if you're a real true X Men fan, the whole black suit, the the the, the leather tights in their in in the X Men movies. Now, you comic book movie directors and writers can see now. Comic book fans, we want to see the outfits. We want to see the outfits. If you have to brighten it up, if you have to darken it up, whatever the case may be, we want to see the outfits. Stop with the black leather. Like, we don't need that. If you go to a, any type of comic book convention or comic con or some type of cosplay show, they're not going to wear black tights in a Wolverine costume, black tights in a, in a Superman costume, black tights, you know, in a, in a Cyclops costume. No, they're going to wear their outfit that they wear in the comic books or the cartoons whatever okay as you can see and when we saw this in the movie theater and they showed there was a scene where they what they did a flashback and wolverine they showed the age of apocalypse wolverine they showed old man logan wolverine they showed a uh, patch wolverine they showed wolverine from a from a fame from a popular comic when he was uh nailed to an X. They also showed a five foot three Wolverine. And it and it and I'm telling you right now, it worked. They each one of those characters they really could have made a movie or a TV show out of. And I guarantee you fans would have had no problem with it whatsoever. Fans would have had no problem with it whatsoever. The comic, the costumes that these comic characters wear, that's part of their costume. That's part of their costume. It's like you could make a, a, a movie with Thor wearing his Thor outfit and he's walking around with the cape and his Viking type gear and he's walking in the streets and the fans loved it. The fans loved it. If... Thor would have wore, you know, some silly black tights and, you know, uh, this uh, uh, a real dark burgundy gray uh, cape. It, it wouldn't be Thor. Look at the Hulk. Look at Hulk. He's green. Keep him green. Keep him green. That whole um, smart Hulk thing where they're just making him a weakling. They're making him silly. He's just just a little baby acting like it's garbage. Stop. The Mark Ruffalo was the worst Hulk out there, in my opinion. Horrible. Smart Hulk. Horrible. The Hulk in the Avengers. Well, Avengers Endgame and in Infinity War. Horrible. You didn't get any of that with the Deadpool Wolverine movie. This is to me the best version of Wolverine. Uh, Deadpool, I think he's equally as good in all three movies. I think he's funnier in part one. But he's equally as good. Deadpool is Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds is, is Deadpool, just like Chris Evans is Captain America. I don't think these characters could be replaced, just like Hugh Jackman is Wolverine. And let me tell you, this is probably the best version of Wolverine besides Old Man Logan. I really liked him in Old Man Logan. I understand what that movie was about. It was, it was great. And to see X-23 come back and um, there's a scene where X-23 converses with Wolverine and she's telling him, you know, like, you know, uh, if I remember correctly, the conver the conversation was about, you know, just him being a superhero, him saving everyone, 
him being, you know, the backbone of X-Men, the backbone of uh, a world where, you know, the dystopian world where Wolverine is the last hope to save everyone. And um, there's a really good scene. The dialogue was really good. And he's like, you know, you got the wrong guy. And she's like, I know, like, we always had the wrong guy. And the irony is, yes, he's the wrong guy, but the right guy in a situation like that to be a hero. And I think that's great. And I think in this movie, Wolverine was, he was, he was, he was tough. He was hardcore. He was the killing machine. And yet he was still funny in a way where he was serious, but you could see the humor in it. And I think the the connection between Deadpool and Wolverine was like no other. Like it's one of the best combinations of, of two superheroes that you could get. I mean, I don't know. This might be the best MCU movie. It might be. It might be the best MCU movie. Listen, when when in Endgame when when um, Captain America got the uh, called on Mil Mjolnir, and when he said Avengers Assemble, all of that was like just a explosive moment, right? That all the fans been waiting on, right? But when you go back to uh, Old Man Logan, there's a scene where, because throughout the movie he's weak, and there's a scene where he takes this, medic this medicine that makes you strong, but it's temporarily, and just for that second, he became the old Wolverine that he used to be. And to me, that was a, like, to me, in my opinion, is a, it was, I felt more, I got more excited out of that than I did with the Captain America scene in Endgame, but that's just me. And in this movie with Deadpool, I still get that. Like everything that Wolverine is doing, the costume, when he puts on the cowl, oh, when he first puts on the cowl, let me tell you, it's one of the best things ever in a movie. Like he put on that cowl, the eyes was white. I mean, and it worked. It worked. That's what, if he would have wore this costume in the old X-Men, like, like you, get, you guys don't understand how, how much the, it would have been way better back then if they, if they just wore their costumes. And in that scene where they're fighting all these different Deadpools, in, in all these different alternate worlds. And I'm talking about, there's so many different Deadpools. Samurai Deadpool. There's a baby Deadpool. There's a pirate Deadpool. There's all these different Deadpools. Um, and it's just, it's, just a, it's just a bloody, bloody mess. And the action scenes was so good. The voicing was so good. The sound effects was so good. I mean, one of the best fighting scenes in the MCU, period. Um, and 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 not only that, it was a long fighting scene. The fighting scene was was really long, and and that's what I liked about it too. Now now, uh, Cassandra Nova, who when I saw the previews, I didn't think that she was gonna be a good uh, villain or whatever. But she, it turns out she ended up being a great villain. She ended up being a good villain, and she was great. And it was all these cameos. In 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 the world that she was living in, where they they uh, in the um, the TSA uh, uh, disowned her and, and and banished her and sent her to this world where she's the ruler at, and she killed so many mutants and and took over so many mutants, and the, the Juggernaut from the old X Men TV sh TV show is there, and Toad is there, and there's so many different Easter eggs in the background. She's sitting on. I believe what it looks like to be Thanos' throne. I mean, it, you would have to like watch one of those Easter egg videos to get every single thing because there were so many Easter eggs in the scenes with Cassandra Nova. And every time they showed her, it was Easter egg. But forget her. One of the best... Let me tell you something. Elektra coming back, that was great. Uh, I, I thought it was great. I, I, I like Elektra. 
in the old Daredevil movie. I personally enjoyed the Daredevil movie. I personally enjoyed Elektra in the Daredevil movie. However, of course, no one likes the scene where they're like play fighting in the streets or whatever. Elektra's solo movie to me was underrated. I thought it was pretty good. She's just a forgotten character. Great. She shows up. She makes a cameo. Looking great. Looking fit. Looking like Elektra still. Okay. Great. Then, um, I'm not going to go in order, but Gambit shows up and it's Gambit in the comic book costume. And, 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 um, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, I'm trying to remember the, the actor's name who plays him. Uh, what's his name? What's this guy's name? Anyway, uh, Channing, Channing Tatum plays Gambit and he was perfect. It was comedy. It was funny. It was like a slapstick where uh, making fun of the, his Cajun accent and it, it worked. It was great. And let me tell you, when he did his fighting scenes, it was like the cartoon. He was doing the cards and he's flipping, he's turning, he's flipping. He's throwing his cards. He's charging up his cards. He's funny. He's 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 talking his smack while he's fighting. And then when he brings out his staff, oh man, the theater went crazy. When he brought out the staff, <laughs> and I didn't think he was gonna bring out the staff. Oh man, he brought out that staff, and it was just like I was like, oh man, like this is what a comic book movie is supposed to be like. It's like putting in, it's like taking the characters out of a comic book or of a cartoon and just really making it live action like it's supposed to be. Like it's supposed to be. And even, even Electra was great. Like Electra's fighting scenes was, was, was great. She did some of her old moves from the old movie. But forget that. Oh my goodness. When Blade showed up, let me tell you something. Wesley, listen, they want Mahershala to play Blade and that's fine. That's fine. Mersh, I think Mershala could be a good blade. I really do believe that. I really do believe he could be a good blade. However, however, Wesley Snipes, for his age, still looks good. And in my opinion, could still play the character Blade. He could still play him. Listen, I didn't even know that Blade was going to show up. Because first of all, a lot of us didn't know that these cameos was going to be there. And it was so surprised to see Electro. So surprised to see Gambit. I mean, we was, we was going crazy in the theater when they showed Gambit. But when when Blade showed up, he, he's just like he's just a forgotten character in the MCU. He is the beginning of the MCU. He is the person who helped build the MCU. And they brought him back. He was funny. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm so glad. I thought they was just gonna show him. His fighting scenes was so good. And it's like, forget Mahershala. Bring back Blade. Bring back Wesley Snipes. Because in my opinion, he could still play him. And he would just be an older looking Blade. Listen, he's half human, half vampire. He could be old. He could be old. Get the right, um, get the right stunt doubles. And you got yourself a blade. I wish there wasn't sexism. I mean, excuse me. Well, I wish there wasn't sexism in Hollywood. I do. I wish there wasn't sexism in Hollywood. But what I was going to say is, I wish there wasn't ageism in Hollywood. Because there's a lot of older actors, in my opinion, that could still play these characters. I think Henry Cavill should still could play Superman. I think... Obviously, Hugh Jackman could still play Wolverine. I think Iron Man, uh, Tony Stark could still play Iron Man. And guess what? Blade is older than all of these guys. And I still think he could play Blade. His cameo was one of the best cameos ever. Everyone went crazy in the movie theater. That whole fighting scene was, was good. Now... To get down to the nitty gritty, shout out to Disney because I know Disney be on a lot of, you know, they, they, they make certain choices that a lot of fans don't like. But with the Deadpool movie, I have to say, they allowed Deadpool to be Deadpool and boy was his mouth foul and Wolverine's mouth was foul and everyone else who needed to be foul was foul. 
That's what, it's fine. And it worked and it was funny. And shout out to Disney for letting that happen. And I hope Disney can continue on to do this with their future MCU uh, uh, movies. To me, the Deadpool movie is one of the best, like I said, if not the best MCU movie. The ending was great. The after credit was funny. Um, oh, oh my goodness. Let me tell you, speaking of the after credit, Chris Evans comes back, right? He comes back. Everyone thinks he's Steve Rogers as Captain America. And there's a there's a scene where Deadpool is like, he's gonna see it, he's gonna see it. And then he's like, flame on! And he turns into the human torch. <laughs> and it, I, it was really funny. It caught the audience by surprise. Certainly caught me by surprise. And it was funny. And Chris Evans is funny. He was funny in this. Um, Cassandra Nova killed him. Um, and it was Deadpool's fault. And you'll see that in the after credit. And it's pretty funny. He, pro you know, Deadpool proves his point because throughout that scene, he's like, it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. Um, but overall, this movie is just, it's just a really good movie. It's just a fun comic book movie. Do I think this is the best Deadpool movie? It's probably a tie because I, I ended up watching again, one and two. And I thought that one is, excuse me. I thought two was the best one. And I thought one was the funniest. But after watching the first two again, and then and then going back thinking about the last one, because I only watched the Deadpool movie, Deadpool Wolverine once, I gotta say, thinking about it again, and with all the cameos, and the type of humor, and to see Hugh Jackman come back as Wolverine in the yellow costume, which I do believe is the uh, ultimate, I mean, uh, the astonishing X Men outfit is what it looks like for him to come back in the suit put on the cowl have the white eyes i think deadpool 3 is probably the best deadpool movie of them all and there was a lot of easter eggs stan there's stan lee easter eggs there's spider-man easter egg there's so many easter eggs in this movie I think it's a good movie. I, don't, I think you don't have to be a comic book fan to like this movie. It wasn't, you know, quote unquote woke. Um, it was it 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 like I said, it's what a comic book movie is supposed to be like. Uh, I give it a ten out of ten. Uh, like I said, these two characters, Wolverine, Hugh Jackman. Um, Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds, I don't think that they could be replaced. Um, this is their characters and their, um, the chemistry between the two is what made this movie perfect. And then there was even a shot where they show Wolverine in a brown suit. I forgot to mention that. They show him with the brown suit and it was from the comic book cover where you could see the Hulk through the, through the uh, Animanium Claws, his reflection. It was great. I'm telling you, this movie is 10 out of 10. If you haven't seen it, and if you're listening to the spoilers, it doesn't even matter. You're going to enjoy this movie. You're going to enjoy seeing Elektra come back and fight. You're going to enjoy Gambit seeing him come back and fight. You're going to enjoy seeing Blade coming back and fighting. You're going to enjoy the Human Torch coming back and fighting. Um, you're gonna enjoy seeing the Juggernaut, Toad, um, um, the Human. I mean, uh, um, um, Pyro. I, I think earlier I said Human Torch, but Pyro was with Cassandra Nova, and he was a traitor to Cassandra Nova. Everything about this movie is really good. It's a ten out of ten. I really enjoyed it, and I hope that they do make a sequel and bring these two back. And this time, when they bring these two back, I hope that Deadpool could wear the actual comic book outfit and Wolverine wear the original X-Men uh, Jim Lee yellow, blue, and black suit. That's what I want to see in the next Deadpool movie. 10 out of 10, good movie. Check it out. Go see it. Peace.